Hello my friends, welcome back to Moon Medicine Yoga. Come on in, I'm Allison, and today we honor October's full moon, commonly known as the Hunter's Moon, with a full body, slow flow yoga class. Long ago, as the harvest moon set and October's chill arrived, people knew it was time to gather. The fields lay bare, crops already tucked away, and now the Hunter's Moon would rise casting its light through the thinning trees. With the leaves falling and the landscape stripped of cover, animals like deer and wild turkey wandered in search of the season's final spoils. As this game was easily spotted, hunters took to the fields and forests, securing additional food to last through winter, hence the namesake, the Hunter's Moon. The hunter's moon also brings with it the teachings of the animal world. Deer symbolize gentleness and intuition, guiding us to navigate this season of change with awareness and grace. And owls whose keen eyes cut through the dark teach us to see beyond the surface, embracing the wisdom found within shadow. And the fox, ever adaptive, symbolizes resourcefulness and sharp thinking. Together they embody survival and heightened senses, guiding us through this transformative season. The Hunter's Moon invites us to gather, prepare, and reflect. As the air grows crisp, we come together by the warmth of fires, sharing stories and savoring the bonds that sustain us. Standing at the threshold of the darker days ahead, we're called into togetherness, finding comfort and nourishment among our people. Today, as we flow together, we'll tune into that ancient rhythm, weaving our own stories in movement and breath. This slow flow yoga practice is suited for all levels and embodies the imagery of the full hunter's moon. Now let's kindle the warmth within us and around us, deepening our connection to the season. Once again, welcome. If this is your first time here, Subscribe to join us for more yoga aligned with the moon, the seasons, and the stars. Take a second to like the video, and we're going to begin in a comfortable seat. Finding your cross-legged seat. Taking a few deep breaths to arrive on the mat, setting busyness aside. Let the breath deepen, the muscles soften, the spine lengthen, and maybe the eyes close or the gaze softens. Bringing hands to heart center. From here, we're going to start to rub the hands together, creating friction and warmth between the palms. Just as if we we're warming our hands by a big roaring fire on a chilly day. Applying a little more force and then if it feels okay cup the hands over the eyes turning awareness and warmth inward you could feel free to bring the hands to the heart here instead and it's here that we'll set our class intention together as I step forward I trust in my strength and honor the harmony of self-reliance and connection. You can set your personal intentions here too. And then letting that go. Bring hands to the heart, bowing to the fingertips. 
Let's interlace the fingers. As you exhale, press the palms forward, rounding the spine, bowing the head. Inhale, full moon rise, overhead, pressing palms to sky. Exhale, round the spine, palms forward. Inhale, palms overhead, keeping those elbows soft to create that nice full moon shape. A few more like this. A little cat-cow action in the spine. With your next full moon, exhale, release and interlace hands behind the back. Lifting the chest, roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, fold forward any amount. Inhale, rise, releasing hands to heart center. Interlace and exhale right into that palm, press forward. Inhale, palms overhead, full moon rising. Exhale, release to interlace behind the back. Palms together, inhale, lengthen, feel the arms extend back and down. Exhale, folding forward any amount, maybe the knuckles lift over. Inhale to rise, bringing hands to heart center. Exhale, interlace, press the palms forward. Inhale, soft elbows, arms overhead. Exhale, release arms behind, interlace. Inhale, crack the chest open, feel that release. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, slowly rise, sweeping hands to the heart center. Exhale, interlace, rounding the spine, arms are long. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, the arms behind. Interlace in Yoga Mudra. Inhale to lift. Exhale, bowing down. Inhale, we rise, gathering hands at heart center, pausing for a deep release breath in through the nose, out of the mouth, feeling stillness. Exhaling, hands behind you, fingertips pointing out to the sides, and extend the legs long for some one-legged frog kicks to warm the hips. Exhale the right knee in. Inhale the knee out, swinging the leg long, and then knee over and back in towards the belly. It's as if you're drawing a big circle with the knee. Keep going, and you can stay up on the hands or maybe drop to the elbows. This is more comfortable for me. I also feel like I get a bigger range of motion in the leg. So just choose whatever works for you. Moving with the breath. Next time the knee comes in, switch directions. Crossing the knee over the other leg and then swinging it long and out to the side. Keep breathing, keep the heart lifted. Next, exhale, bring the knee in and pause. We're going to press back up to the palms and cross the right ankle over the left knee, creating a figure four shape. Then planting that left foot to the mat in a seated figure four stretch. Fingertips can point out to the side here. It's a little easier on the wrists. 
Keep the heart lifting, pressing towards that top shin. And keep the right foot flexed. Relax the jaw and breathe. On your exhale, release back to your cross-legged seat. A little wrist reset with limp hands. Just shake them out and then press the backs of the hands together, fingertips pointing down. Exhaling, hands behind, fingertips pointing out and extend the legs. Option to drop to the elbows here for your one-legged frog kicks. Exhale the left knee into the chest and start your outward circles. Moving with the breath, maybe exhaling the knee into the belly, inhaling as it swings straight. Next time the knee floats in, pause and switch directions. Continuing to move with the breath. Exhale the knee into the chest and then press yourself up to the palms. Crossing the left ankle above the right knee. Plant that right foot to the mat. Bring in your heel close and towards the seat for more sensation, farther away from the seat for less. Lifting the heart towards the shin. Watch any clenching in the jaw or the brow and breathe into the stretch. On the exhale, release back to your cross-legged seat to again swish out the wrists and maybe press the backs of the hands together. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, hands to mat for tabletop. Coming onto hands and knees for cat-cow when you're ready, inhale, hammock the belly, look forward. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine and tuck your chin to your chest. Flowing with the breath, scooping the heart forward, inhale. Exhale, gathering inward. Take your time here. Warming, undulating the spine, flowing with breath. On your inhale, tabletop, pausing. Step the right foot back with the toes tucked. Press into that right heel, little hamstring calf stretch. Exhale, the knee back into place. Other leg extends back, pressing into the ball of the foot. Shift the weight back for the stretch. Exhale, the knee back next to the other. 
moving slowly like this, alternating the legs, pressing back gently into the stretch, breathing deeply. Next time, the left knee comes in to meet the other. Pause. On your inhale, cow belly breath, scooping the heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the hands of palm print forward. Tuck the toes and lift your hips to the sky. Pausing in stillness, grounding through the hands and feet. On your inhale, plank pose. Exhale, drop the knees, lower slowly to the belly. Landing, untuck the toes. For cobra, with the hands under shoulders, elbows back, inhale, lift your heart, looking forward. Exhale, lowering down. From here, bring the left elbow to the mat. You're gonna use this like a little pillow for your head as you roll to your left side. Use your right hand in front of your chest for support. For a side-lying hunter's bow pose, bend the right knee and reach back with the right hand to catch the outside of the foot. Rest the right leg on top of the other just enjoy the quad stretch here, feeling some resistance between the top of your foot and your hand. Relax and breathe. If this feels a little shaky or unbalanced, you can do the same shape on your belly. Exhale, release the pose with control and roll back to lie face down. With hands under shoulders, inhale, cobra, lifting a little higher this time, elbows bending back in space. Another breath in. Exhale, lowering slowly down. Bringing your right elbow forward and around to use the pillow for the side of your head. Roll onto your right side, stacking the shoulders, the hips, the heels. Bending the top knee, reach back with the left hand, catching the top of the foot. Side lying, hunter's bow. On your breath out, gently and with control, release the foot, rolling back to the belly. 
placing hands under shoulders, toes untucked. This time, we're going to send the feet as wide as the mat. On your inhale, cobra, lift your heart. Option here to bend the knees, bringing the toes together, keeping the knees wide in wild turkey pose. Little cobra variation. You could certainly go deeper into this back bend, bringing the crown of the head towards the feet, feet towards the crown of the head, but I'm perfectly fine right here. <laughs> on your exhale, slowly lower, pausing on the ground. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Again, grounding into the palms, into the soles, gazing back between the legs. Come back to your breath. Exhale, slowly walking hands back to the feet. Come into a forward bend at the back of your mat. Feel that weight shift into your heels. Hang limp over the legs, keep the knees soft. You can grab opposite elbows, let the head hang. Inhaling, hands to shins, lift halfway. Maybe look forward. Exhale, folding. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, arms to the sides in mountain pose. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, maybe hands to shins. Walking the hands forward, heel to the feet together, then bending the knees, crouch down, find this balancing shape, this balancing crouch, sitting on the heels with the hands at heart center or on the thighs. You can stay right here or going into a balancing bowstring pose Oh, yogi squat variation. We're going to open the knees wide, maybe bringing the heels together. Then interlacing hands at heart center. Point your index fingers into steeple and then send the hands overhead. Keep the eyes fixed on something that isn't moving. Establish your drishti, it helps with balance. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, the hands through heart center, down to the ground, closing the knees. Drop the knees to the earth, untuck the toes for child's pose, sweeping the arms back by your sides or keeping them extended forward. Inhaling, lift your head and thread the right arm across the chest. Setting the right side of your head down on the mat, keep the left arm extended. A little shoulder stretch. Breathing here. Inhaling to switch, lift your head, extend the right arm and thread the left arm through. Exhale, soften into the shoulder. Hips stay heavy on the heels. Breathing into the back body.
Inhale, release to child's pose, extending the left arm forward. On your breath in, rising to tabletop, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can stay right here, or if you like to flush through vinyasa, you can join me. From your downward facing dog, you come to a seat on the mat with the legs straight, scooping the flesh out and away from the sits bones. Extend the legs and flex the feet. From here, we're going to cross again the right ankle above the left knee, creating a figure four shape. Bringing the hands to heart center. Slide the hands under the right calf and pause. Folding forward. If this feels good, stay or you can rise. Bringing the leg with you into peaceful archer. Keeping the palms connected. Keeping the right foot flexed. For a little more stability, you can bend the left knee. Sort of tuck that heel in towards your seat. Holding here a couple more breaths. On your exhale, slowly lower down to release. Slide your arms out, bring them to your sides, or cross that leg over, planting the right foot to the outside of the left thigh, and then swing that left heel back by your right hip, preparing for a seated twist. Holding onto your front shin, inhale the right arm through the sky and back behind you. Inhale, left arm reaches to sky. Exhale, tuck the elbow to the outside of the knee or wrap the arm around the knee. Wherever you are, find some length in the spine, grounding through both sits bones and maybe look back over the shoulder. Find your breath here. And to release, look forward, inhale, unwind, taking a little counter bow to the other side. Bring your hands to the left side of your mat. And coming back to center. From here, we're going to sweep the right leg behind us, bending the knee coming into deer pose. Now for this variation of deer, we're going to keep the left knee pointing straight ahead, bending it so that that heel comes right in towards the root. And the back knee is bent so that the heel is back towards your seat. Holding onto the knees, inhale, get tall through the spine and turn your heart towards the top of your mat finding this very graceful and proud posture, very reminiscent of the deer. Or maybe your deer has horns, in which case you can reach the left arm to sky, creating a little mudra, connecting the index finger and thumb. I know there's some kids out there, if you wanna get really into the deer shape, you can give yourself antlers with both hands.
but feel free to stay grounded, hands on the knees, finding your breath. really sweep the legs back towards the top of your mat once here we're gonna bend the knees bring the feet to the floor simply wrap the arms around the knees and bow your head in farmers pose very gentle release for the low back turning inward inhaling lift the head to release extending the legs Preparing for peaceful archer on the second side, bringing the left ankle over the right knee, flexing the foot in that figure four seat. Bringing the hands to heart center, and then threading them underneath the calf. Folding forward. Feet stay flexed. You can stay in the figure four fold or rising into peaceful archer. Hinge up, bring in the leg with you. Enjoying that hip stretch as well as all those points of connection between the arms, the leg, the sits bones and the earth. Staying tall through the spine. To release hinging forward setting the leg down threading the arms out hands to either side then we're going to plant the left foot to the outside of the right thigh getting ready for our seated twist bend the right knee bring the heel back by your hip hold on to the shin to get tall for a moment inhaling circle left arm through sky Inhale, reaching the right arm. Hook the elbow for your seated twist or wrap the arm around the knee. Feeling tall. On your inhale, look forward, unwind to release, taking a counter bow to the right side. And rising up hands to either side, we're gonna swing the left leg behind us for deer pose. Right knee continues to point forward, tucking the heel in towards your root. Back knee is bent, so the heel is back by the seat. Hands catch the knees. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale to dial your heart towards the top of the mat. Option to reach the right arm, creating a little mudra with the hand or whatever antler variation you're feeling today. You can also keep the hands on the knees. to release sweeping the legs forward coming to a seat with the knees bent the feet flat on the floor 
this time threading the arms underneath the knees behind the thighs exhale to fold dropping your head towards your knees a little self embrace again the eyes can close to turn inward even more inhale the head lifts and we scooch forward to roll onto the back bringing the knees into the chest for a little rock from side to side. From here, we'll take happy baby, reaching through, grabbing the arches of the feet. Nice deep bend to the knee, shining the soles to the sky. Exhale, release, finding our way to Shavasana or whatever shape you're taking for final rest today. Maybe the knees stay bent with the feet flat on the floor, or maybe you extend the arms and legs. Your Shavasana should be restful, comfortable, a shape that's totally at ease for you whatever shape that is take a deep breath as you exhale soften in and enjoy your rest Starting now to deepen the breath, bringing the awareness back, one at a time, bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor, and roll gently to your right side for the fetal position. To receive today's closing reading, excerpts from The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. What we reach for may be different, but what makes us reach is the same. It is our unseeable connection to a larger presence that shapes and reshapes our time on earth. Often we must let go of everything in order to make room for the new things we are being given. Often we must accept the cold silence before us as a threshold we will cross, for like fish that have the ocean within them, we carry the spirit in our breath, and it is this quiet persistence that brings us through the night to the dawn. And so, like the animals of the hunter's moon, we move with respect for the night, with trust in the unseen path ahead, 
knowing that we're not alone. In times of change, we're asked to inhabit both courage and surrender. There is a rhythm and wisdom to this, like walking in the dark, feeling our way, holding close to the presence that lives inside all things. And taking that with us, we'll gently press up to a comfortable seat, bringing hands to heart center. Thank you very much for being here today. To seal our practice, we're going to again rub our hands together, creating that warmth and friction between the palms. Get into it. And then we'll bring the hands to the heart space this time, bringing that warmth of our community, our practice into our hearts to sustain us through the darkness ahead. And we'll bow to honor each other in all our relations. Once again, I really appreciate you honoring the cycles of the moon with me here on the mat and out in the world. To support the channel, you can become a member here on YouTube or join the Patreon. Shop any of the affiliate links below. I always link to my outfits, my mat, different gear that you see in class all the time with me. Or you can simply subscribe, like the video, and leave me a comment below. Just say hello. Let me know what you enjoyed about class this time or if you have any special plans for this hunter's moon. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you for being here just as you are. And I will see you again soon on the mat and under the moon. <laughs>